Hello friends, today we are going to learn about NIST characteristics which are 5 in numbers. NIST characteristic. What is NIST? NIST is National Institute for Standards and Technology which is the main organization which has combined several technologies to form a technology that is cloud computing. It has defined certain characteristics. Five of them are main which we are going to learn. They are first one is the on-demand self-service. Second one ubiquitous network access. Third one, resource pooling, then rapid elasticity and measured services. So, the first one is the on-demand self-service. What is on-demand self-service? It is the provisioning or deprovisioning computing resources as needed in an automated fashion without human intervention. What does this mean? For example, if I need a storage space, Say for example, I am using Google Drive to store something. Now, 25 GB of space is given to me free of cost from Google. That is the amount that I am using. I am storing my photographs, documents, PDFs, presentations, etc. But at certain point, I need more storage space than 25 GB. Say for example, another 25 GB for some days to some extent. Now, with this on-demand service, I can rent that space and use it. But after some time, now I do not need that space. So, I can leave it off also and be with that 25 GB which is given to me by Google. Now, if I am working on my own machine, then it will not be possible for me to rent a space, use it and then let it go or free the space. I will have to purchase that particular space, then I can use it and then it will be with me redundant if I do not need it further. So, this is the first feature which cloud computing provides. That means the amount I need, the service I required at that moment is given to me and I only have to pay for the usage and not the complete infrastructural cost. Second point is ubiquitous network access. This means that computing facilities can be accessed from anywhere over the network. Now, since we know one of the major feature of cloud computing is anytime, anywhere access. What this anytime, anywhere access is? That is, say for example, I am using a service called WhatsApp. I can use it on my phone as well as on my laptop or desktop going through WhatsApp web. Now, this is anytime, anytime as in if I want to access it now, I can access it now. If I want to access it after some time, I can do it. I do not have to go to a particular or certain position to access that application. I can access it anywhere. Only the need is or only the requirement for this is internet connection. Wherever I have those internet connectivity, I can access it. That is anywhere access anytime, any device, all these things comes under this. So, this is ubiquitous network access which is free of the foundation of anything. Another thing is resource pooling. This is the another feature. This means that computing resources are pooled to meet the demand of the consumers so that the resources physical or virtual that means it is not confined to only the physical resources or the virtual resources can be dynamically assigned reassigned or deallocated as per the requirement now here what it means is as we know cloud computing it provides the network using the shared pool of resources so what are those resources and what kind of a shared pool it is it is the available resources from multiple infrastructure creating a complete resource pool 
that resource pool then access infrastructure as a service and provide services to us. Now, as we know, we can rent the resources as per the usage of the organization or the client as per the requirement. Now, if the client need the storage space or say the network space or the server space, application, operating system, whatever it is, it needs it, it uses it after certain time, the resource is not required to the client. So what it do, it free those resources because you only have to pay for the time and the amount of resources you are using. After certain time, you don't require that you free those things and you don't have to pay. Then those resources can be assigned to some other client or the company and they can be reassigned to you as well if you require it again after some time. It can be allocated and deallocated to the same client or different clients at different times. Then rapid elasticity. Rapid elasticity that means cloud computing provides an illusion of infinite computing resources to the users. What does this mean? It means that the rapid elasticity. Now we have been learning about scalability a lot. That means as per the need, you can increase the space. As per the need, you can decrease the space. As per the requirement, you can increase the usage of the network. As per the requirement, you can decrease it. So when you are going into the physical network, we do not have that options with us. If you are not using it, that particular thing is redundant. But here in cloud computing, if you are not using it, it is freed up and it can be used by some other person. So we need not have to worry about the scalability. As the requirement increases, you can rent out the things and resources and you can use it. So scalability or elasticity is provided in basic feature of cloud computing. Another thing is measured service. Now, this means that consumers only pay for the computing resources they have used. What does it mean? That we use electricity. For example, the electricity which we use, we only pay for the consumption of the electricity and not for the completely generated electricity which is there. Sim in a similar manner in cloud computing, we only pay for the usage and it is measured that we have used this amount of services and we have to pay for this. That means the user is billed accordingly as per the usage of the resources and the services. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe to Ikira.